Hello everyone, welcome to the depth of ML. Uh, in this video, we will see the interpretation of a bias term or a constant term that we see in a formulation of a linear regression least square loss function. So uh, please remember, uh, this was the least square loss function that we have defined for a linear regression problem. And uh, let's uh, revise what was input, output and parameters. So inputs were capital X, output is small y and parameter is capital W. Now uh, let's revise the dimension of each of the entity. So x is a certain uh, data point or x uh, subscript type is a ith data point. So uh, that will be represented by certain uh, column vector and uh, that is of a dimension um, d plus 1 uh, rows and 1 column. Please know that we are working with the augmented feature vector. So the last uh, entry in this particular column vector will be 1. Similarly, uh, capital W is a parameter and this parameter is also a column vector. This consists of a d plus 1 rows and 1 column again. And uh, please know that each entry in this particular parameter vector is a coefficient corresponding to the each of the features. So a coefficient corresponding to the first feature is small w1. For a second feature it is small w underscript 2. Similarly there are d features. So the dth entry will be small w subscript d. And there will be one term which is small w subscript 0. Similarly y is a certain real value in the regression problem. Now, we are referring the ith feature vector we call it capital X uh, subscript i and the corresponding uh, ground truth value as a small y subscript i. So in this particular loss function uh, we are considering uh, capital X uh, subscript uh, i which is uh, ith feature vector as a augmented feature vector. Similarly w is also a augmented parameter vector. So if we consider a non-augmented form then it will come out to be something like this. This is the same uh, loss function but it is written in a non-augmented form. So here uh, in this particular formulation uh, capital W is, is of uh, dimension R to the D and uh, capital X uh, subscript I is of a dimension also R to the D. So the task of uh, linear regression is to obtain certain uh, parameter vector capital W and certain constant term uh, W underscore 0 such that uh, the least square loss function that we have defined is minimized. So that's the final task of the loss function and here uh, capital W is, is of dimension uh, r to the d and small w0 is of a dimension r. So uh, this entire particular uh, least square loss function is uh, minimized over capital W and uh, small w subscript 0. right? So uh, let's try to fix uh, capital W and try to see what is the optimal small w subscript 0 will look like. So here uh, now I am only interested to minimize over all possible small w subscript 0. So um, I am fixing certain uh, capital W vector and uh, I am trying to minimize it. So this particular loss function, in this particular loss function I am keeping um, capital W as fixed capital X subscript I is also fixed, small y subscript I is a corresponding ground truth value that is also fixed. So everything uh, underlined uh, using the blue color is fixed and only changing term I am keeping is a small w subscript 0 that I am indicating using the orange color. So this entire uh, particular function becomes of a f of small w subscript 0 and the domain of this particular function is R obviously because it is taking a small w subscript 0 as an input and the codomain of this function is uh, r because uh, it is uh, outputting certain real value. Okay, So I am fixing uh, capital W now and I am trying to minimize over all possible small w subscript 0. So uh, this particular function that uh, I have written whatever f of uh, small w subscript 0 is of a convex function in terms of uh, small w0 this we have already seen 
So how to minimize this particular convex function? Differentiate it and equate this function with zero. So that's what I'm doing. Fix a W capital W and differentiate the entire function with respect to small w subscript zero and equate to zero. I will get certain uh, form which is something like this. Summation over all possible data points. Uh, w transpose uh, capital X subscript i plus a small w subscript zero minus a small y subscript i equal to zero. Okay. Again, capital W is fixed. Capital X subscript i is also fixed. Small y subscript i is also fixed. And I am minimizing over uh, small w subscript zero. So I will try to take this particular term small w zero in the LHS side. So let's first simplify that. So uh, after simplifying, I am getting this particular formula. Here, uh, please know that um, this particular term W transpose uh, capital X uh, subscript I is only depending on the index I. Uh, y subscript I is also depends on the index I. But this uh, small w subscript 0 does not depend on the index I. So I take this summation and uh, I take this term outside this summation. So it becomes n times small w0. So um, w0 becomes 1 over n times sum over i equal to 1 to n uh, y i minus w transpose x i. So optimal w subscript 0 has a very nice uh, interpretation that um, average prediction error we are making for a fixed w over all possible training data points. So this is average. I am taking 1 over n fraction of it. I am considering the prediction error um, without any absolute quantity. Uh, I am only interested in the actual prediction error. So for all possible data points, I am summing the prediction error that I am getting for a fixed w and uh, I am taking average of it. So that's the small w subscript 0. So um, this is nicely formulated as an average prediction error or average error in prediction made by a model which is uh, having fixed uh, capital W vector. So uh, geometrically you can think it like this that um, you have certain data points and um, cons consider a fixed slope line. So I am only considering let's say uh, slope is equal to 1. So here this particular line has a slope equal to 1. So geometrically it looks like this. So please know the x axis corresponds to the input small x and the y axis corresponds to the output small y. Right Now this particular uh, linear regression problem could be written as a learning something y is equal to mx plus c. There will be two parameters m and c. m is corresponding to the coefficient and c is a bias term. So we are learning both of them but uh, I am saying for now let's consider m as uh, fixed and uh, let me keep it uh, m is equal to 1 which is fixed. Now I am saying for all possible uh, lines given these training data points, so this yellow data points are training data points. Given these training data points, I am interested on in learning a line which has a slope 1. Slope 1 is fixed but I am interested to learn the line such that uh, C could change, slope is 1 and uh, this line should minimize the least square loss function for the linear regression problem. Now in this particular uh, figure whatever line I have indicated has a slope 1 but um, c is equal to 0. Now I am allowed to change the c but um, I am keeping the slope as fixed. You know, uh, since all these points are uh, above this line so uh, if I slightly move this line keeping the slope same move above then the least square loss that I am obtaining will get uh, minimized obviously and uh, minimum least square loss I will obtain for a certain C such that uh, whatever line is being passing through all possible points is somewhere inside all these data points. So it is somewhere inside the center of all these data points. That let's say you have only four data points and uh, these four data points are in a such a way that um, their center is origin only. Now I am fixing the slope of the line as 1 and I am interested to learn the line such that um, the least square error for these four data points is getting minimized. So I will learn some line like this. right? Now let's say I shift these four data points. 
टू समवेयर इन अ फर्स्ट क्वारेंट सच दैट दैट सेंटर इज नो लॉन्गर द ओरिजिन सो इफ यू कंसिडर द ओल्डर लाइन दिस लाइन विल क्रिएट अ सम प्रेडिक्शन एरर सो देर विल बी सम प्रेडिक्शन एरर एज पर द ओल्डर लाइन सो दिस इज सम प्रेडिक्शन एरर इफ आई इंडिकेट यूज इन द ग्रीन डॉटेड लाइन दिस इज अन अदर प्रेडिक्शन एरर दिस इज अन अदर प्रेडिक्शन एरर सो ऑब्वियसली शिफ्टिंग दिस लाइन अबो डज मेक सेंस सो इट विल डिक्रीज द ली स्क्वेयर लॉस फंक्शन सो लेट से आई शिफ्ट दिस पर्टिक्युलर लाइन एंड आई लर्न अन अदर लाइन सच दैट it is having slope as 1 but uh, c value is no longer zero so by our derivation the c value is just the average error that is obtained uh, by prediction of older line so the prediction of older older line is a prediction of this dotted line where c is was zero and i am considering the average error that was obtained as per our derivation the c value is exactly same as the Average error that was obtained uh, by prediction of uh, this dotted blue line. So whatever the c value that is uh, being obtained uh, for a line which is minimizing the least square loss function could be interpreted as like this. So this c value is being uh, indicated using the pink color. So uh, obviously you know the y intercept is uh, the c value of this. Uh, equation y equal to mx plus c so this particular pink color is nothing but the average of a dotted green uh, deviation so what were the dotted green deviation it was a error in the prediction by a line which has a c equal to exactly 0 so that's what i have written pink distance is the average of green distances so um, that's what we have derived using the formula as well now let's consider a m or a slope to be 0 obviously when a slope is zero the line that you are obtaining will be parallel to x axis so if c is equal to zero whatever the line i am obtaining is exactly the x axis so that i have indicated using the blue color now let me translate these points uh, into somewhere uh, first quadrant so now you are observing that uh, this is no longer a optimal line and uh, shifting this particular line above uh, will minimize the least square loss uh, for a predicting this point so this is the loss that will be obtained by a line which is uh, parallel to x axis and which has c equal to 0 which is nothing but a x axis only so as if i shift this blue line above i will uh, minimize the least square loss function so let's try to do that and uh, here i also you are seeing that uh, even shifting it above more will also uh, minimize the least square loss function more so it will be somewhere uh, like this exactly and uh, here again uh, you can uh, see that uh, the c intercept if you want to visualize uh, it is average of this particular green uh, distances what are the green distances it is a average prediction uh, error made by a line which has c equal to 0 and the slope is same and uh, if i take a average of this particular green distances i will get certain uh, pink distance which is new c so that's what uh, you can see also in this particular figure so in this particular uh, equation this particular uh, term that i am indicating using the green underline ha i have denoted on the above diagram as a green dotted line and average of their distances i have indicated using the pink uh, line so this is same as pink line distance okay so uh, if i take a one over n inside uh, and i sum uh, both of these term individually the interpretation is very nice small w subscript 0 is nothing but the prediction of a average output value this is a prediction of average output value if the feature vector is average of the feature vector which is uh, this particular term so to interpret it you take a new feature vector which is average of your tra uh, training data and you take a new output uh, label which is average output of your training data and you keep a w fixed you just uh, put them in this particular equation the average output is the first term in second term w is fixed and uh, the second part of the second term is uh, average of 
feature vector that you are obtaining so here how you are taking the average please know that this capital x subscript type is of a d dimensional vector so this is a vector capital x subscript 1 which has a d dimension and uh, since uh, we treat every uh, feature vector to be column vector so i am taking a transpose okay uh, similarly this is another uh, feature vector capital x subscript 2 similarly i am taking another feature vector likewise uh, we have a n feature vectors right now please know that um, every entry of this feature vector i am uh, averaging so the new average feature vector that you obtain um, will be average of each of the coordinate so if i denote uh, each entry of this uh, feature vector as this notations so let's say for a feature vector capital x subscript 1 i am considering the first coordinate i will denote it as a small x subscript 1 superscript first similarly second coordinate small x subscript 1 superscript 2 small x subscript 1 superscript 3 likewise so uh, similarly for a second feature vector small x subscript 2 superscript uh, 1 that is uh, first uh, feature value of a second feature vector so uh, i will get a average feature vector to be something like this where first term is 1 over n times sum over i equal to 1 to n small x i subscript 1 similarly second term 1 over n sum over i equal to 1 to n small x subscript i second feature likewise it will have a d values so this is a average feature vector that is being computed and this particular feature vector will go into this particular second part of the second term that i have indicated using the orange underline so uh, this is a certain nice interpretation that uh, you take a average feature vector as a new data point and average output value as a new output label and what is the error that is being made uh, for a fixed w predicting this uh, average uh, output value given a average feature vector as an input that is just the small w subscript 0 so this particular uh, small w subscript 0 is also called as a bias term if um, input data points are zero centered that means um, sum over um, all uh, output values is uh, zero similarly if i sum all feature vectors in the training is also zero so uh, please know the dimension uh, here yi belongs to r but uh, i am taking uh, the second sum over the vectors so this is the sum of the vectors and uh, each uh, vector is r to the d so i am saying a final output vector should be zero vector so if um, all uh, training data points are zero centered then the optimal uh, small w subscript zero will be zero why um, in this particular equation if you replace uh, these values so this sum is zero this sum is zero so you multiply whatever the w with zero the final output is zero so small w subscript zero is zero uh, when the training data points are zero centered let's consider a non-zero centered loss function uh, in this loss function uh, please know uh, i am optimizing over capital w on small w zero everything else is fixed so whatever i am indicating using the orange color is fixed so capital x subscript i is fixed small y subscript i is fixed and whatever is the variable or i am minimizing over is uh, i am indicating using the blue color so let's say capital w star and small w zero star are the optimal points for this particular loss function these are the optimal points for a non-zero centered loss function now uh, small w zero star will be related uh, with uh, capital w star using this particular equation we have seen this earlier as well so 
Now translate these uh, training data points and uh, make them zero centered. So new data points after zero centering, I'm calling it as a capital X um, subscript I prime and small y subscript I prime. So how do we obtain these new data points from the older data points? Um, you just uh, remove the average of uh, X i's and Y i's from the older X i's and Y i's. So new data point or uh, new ith feature vector is old ith feature vector minus the average uh, feature vector new i ground truth value is old uh, i ground truth value minus average of the ground truth values okay so this is how we make it zero centered please know that uh, if i sum over um, capital x uh, subscript i primes then uh, i will get a zero by this translation and similarly if i sum over uh, small y subscript i prime I will also get a zero by this particular translation. So this will also give me zero. Earlier also was giving me zero. Okay. So um, this is what um, I am proving that if we retrain a model after zero centering. So uh, initially we have certain data points. We call it uh, as a capital X i small y i. Uh, I have zero centered them and I have obtained a capital X i prime and small y i prime. Uh, I am saying that I am training the new model on a new data points still optimal w vector that i will get will be same for both of these particular data points obviously for a new data points the bias value will be zero that's what i am proving so uh, w star vector will be same even if i retrain the model after zero centering the inputs but um, new small w subscript zero star will be zero so uh, please see both of this particular uh, loss function. This is the standard least square loss function. But uh, in a first loss function, I am considering the data points as a capital X subscript type and small y subscript type. In a new loss function, I am considering the points capital X subscript type prime and the corresponding ground truth is small y subscript type. So this is the same loss function I am using. Okay. So uh, for a zero centered uh, points, this, this is the loss function. Uh, obviously at optimal, uh, small w subscript zero will be zero. This is what we have already seen, right? Uh, small w subscript zero is just a average prediction error made by a fixed w if the new data point is average of the feature vectors in the training data and the corresponding ground truth value is the average of the ground truth value in the training data. Now average in the ground truth value in the training data is zero. Average of the feature vector of the training data is zero because we have transformed them and made them zero centered. So obviously both these terms are zeros. So the optimal uh, W subscript zero is also zero. Okay. So this same loss function uh, will uh, turn out to be this. We can just ignore the small W subscript zero and uh, this is a zero centered uh, loss function and uh, the first one is a non-zero centered uh, loss function. So this is a non-zero centered loss function which I have indicated using the uh, blue arrow and zero centered loss function I am indicating using the orange arrow. Please know the difference is uh, uh, in the first time considering the capital X subscript I small y subscript I in second time considering the capital X subscript I prime and small y small y subscript I prime uh, but in second I am not considering the bias term at all that's the only difference. Okay so uh, we will prove that uh, at optimal point weight vector uh, w star will be same for both loss function. So we will prove this by two arguments. So first argument is uh, optimal value of a non zero centered loss function will be less or equal to the optimal value of a zero centered loss function. So uh, please know uh, whatever the optimal value that I get of a first loss function. So let me call it as a opt one, which is optimal value of a non zero uh, non zero centered uh, loss function and uh, this is a opt two this is optimal value of a zero centered loss function so this is saying that optimal value of a non zero centered loss function will be less or equal to the optimal value of a zero centered loss function so specifically i am saying that opt one will be less or equal to opt two this is what we will prove 
and second we will prove that uh, at a w star so if i put a w star that is a please know what is w star as per our notations it is optimal point of a non zero centered loss function so at w star uh, non zero centered function will have a minima right and zero centered loss function if i put the same w star in the zero centered loss function i will get a same value so combining this what i have proved opt1 was less than opt2 and uh, at capital w star opt1 and opt2 will be same that's what i am saying if i put a capital w star in um, non zero centered loss function and zero centered loss function both of them will have a same value so uh, in a first claim what i am proving in a first claim i am saying that opt1 will be less or equal to opt2 and in a second claim what i am saying if i put a w star which is a optimal of opt1 i will get a same optimal value of a zero centered loss function that is a loss function indicated using the orange arrow that says what whatever the optimal value of the non zero centered loss function that is the same optimal value i will get for a zero centered loss function as well not only that the optimal point for which it is taking a minima which is a capital w star is also same so for a non zero centered loss function it is taking minima at a capital w star for the same capital w star i will get a optimal value of a zero centered loss function so first part says that opt1 is less or equal to opt2 second part says that at w star opt1 and opt2 are both are same so obviously at w star opt1 and opt2 both are same and uh, opt2 cannot go lesser than the opt1 so w star becomes a minima of a zero centered loss function as well so this uh, will get implied by both of these statements so let's uh, prove the first part which is uh, opt1 will be less or equal to opt2 so let's consider the zero centered uh, loss uh, minimization so please know i am only minimizing over uh, capital w i am not considering the bias term at all and the input data points capital x subscript i prime and small y subscript i prime both are zero centered now uh, how did we make them zero centered by subtracting the average feature vector from the capital x subscript i and average ground truth value from small y subscript i so let's expand it so this term after expansion will become this term that i have indicated using the blue color and this term that uh, i will indicate using the orange color will uh, become this term after expansion this is just expansion so uh, now please notice this term and this term whatever the terms that i have indicated using the pink color is uh, outputting certain real value so i am changing capital w but i am outputting certain real value right now compare this with the non zero centered loss function so this is a zero centered loss function i am comparing this with a non zero loss function and please focus on this term this is the only difference in a zero centered loss function and non zero centered loss function so this term that i have indicated using the pink color in a zero centered loss function and uh, the same color i am using to indicate the term in the non zero centered loss function so in a non zero centered loss function i am minimizing over all possible capital w's and all possible small w subscript 0 right and small w subscript 0 obviously belongs to r this term that i have indicating using these uh, pink colors in a zero centered loss function also belongs to r right so this term obviously depends on a w now this small w subscript 0 does not depend on the w so you have to be convinced that non zero loss centered loss function is a more flexible loss function compared to the zero centered loss function because this small w subscript 0 term could be any real value but uh, whatever the term that i have indicated using this pink color in a zero centered loss function is depending on the capital w so everybody should be clear that non zero centered loss function 
is a less constrained minimization problem than the zero centered loss function so non zero centered loss function is this and if i put a constraint that small w subscript 0 is exactly this value then i will get the zero centered loss function so uh, please know that uh, if i restrict small w 0 to certain value then i get a loss function of a zero centered loss function so um, zero centered loss function is a constraint minimization of a non zero centered loss function you can say it like that and uh, visually you can say that there is certain area so uh, this blue region corresponds to the non zero centered minimization this orange region corresponds to the zero centered minimization so the optimization uh, region corresponding to the non zero centered minimization problem is a superset of uh, optimization region corresponding to the zero centered minimization problem so optimal value of a non zero centered minimization problem could be any point which is blue or orange there is no restriction but for a zero centered minimization it has to be orange point which is inside the orange region okay so uh, first part we have proved since um, zero centered minimization problem is just a constraint version of a non zero centered minimization problem so that uh, we can say that the optimal value of a non zero centered minimization problem which is unconstrained will be always less or equal to optimal value of a constrained minimization problem that is zero centered minimization problem okay so first part is proved now let's uh, consider a second part which says that you consider a capital w star which is a optimal value of a non zero centered optimization problem and you put that w star into the zero centered optimization problem then you will get a opt1 equal to opt2 so please note that what is opt1 and opt2 there is slight change in the order above is opt2 which is a optimal value of a zero centered optimization problem and below is opt1 okay so um, you solve a uh, non zero centered optimization problem you obtain a capital w star and you put the same w star into the zero centered optimization problem you will get the same loss function value why because please know that uh, at a w star and small w subscript zero star the equation or a relation between a small w subscript zero star and capital w uh, star will be given by this particular equation right which is a average prediction error made by the w star on a average feature vector having a average ground truth value so uh, if you replace a w0 star uh, in this equation in the non zero centered loss function you will get a same loss as a zero centered loss function so please try to replace and see you will get the exactly same loss and this says that at a w star opt2 is same as opt1 so uh, we have proved the second statement so second statement says that at w star which is uh, at the optimal value of the non zero centered loss function uh, you will get a same value of a zero centered loss function and the first part says that the optimal value of a zero centered loss function is more than the optimal more or equal to the optimal value of the non zero centered loss function so this says that uh, w star is the optimal value of the uh, zero centered loss function also so both of these statements we have proved and uh, both of these statement combinedly says that at optimal point the weight vector w star will be same even if we uh, consider the input non zero centered or zero centered so even after a zero centry also we will get a same w star and uh, before zero centering also we will get a same w star. so other way of saying this is uh, after zero centry optimal uh, parameters corresponding to the coefficient so what was the w star vector w star vectors uh, was uh, some vector in r to the d and it consists of a 
parameters corresponding to the coefficients of the feature right and uh, small w subscript 0 was a parameter corresponding to the bias term so this particular vector is uh, parameters corresponding to the coefficients of the features so we have mentioned this as a small w subscript 1 small w subscript 2 likewise small w subscript d so this parameter vector which is corresponding to the coefficient of the features will um, remain same even um, if you zero centered the training data and then uh, compute the optimal value of the least square loss function for a linear regression on a zero centered input data so um, this optimal uh, parameter vector will remain same uh, even after the zero centering so we will end this video here and in this video we have seen uh, various interpretation of a bias term uh, in a least square loss function for a linear regression problem that we have defined so thank you very much for watching this video and we will meet you in the next video